Hey everyone, back for another video review, and today I'll be reviewing a bootleg item, which is unusual. Um, just found out that uh, when I looked at this properly, that this is actually a bootleg. Uh, it's a uh, apparently a Naruto Uzumaki Nine Tails Chuck Remote uh, figurine from Master, uh, what's it called, uh, Master Stars piece, and there actually isn't any official or for Dickin anything at all and make it official at all so I'm just going to show you guys the box and show you what to look out for once again uh, the shoddy uh, artworks and the disgusting uh, paintwork on the models so yeah let's get on so as you can see um, on the actual front we'll start with you've got a picture of the figurine and the name of it and it actually just says uh, Azamuki Azam Uzumaki uh, Naruto and it doesn't actually state that he's in Nine Tails Chakra mode at all it just says the character's name just quite unusual as a first warning sign and if you look closely at the actual uh, like picture itself it's very transfer it looks very like cheap sort of transfer look on it not, not, not an actual decent like imagery at all and even on the actual uh, name as well, it looks sort of photocopied as well, so it looks really fucking horrible. So, on the other side here, you have, like, more pictures of him, whatnot. Um, same thing on the other side, as you can see, there's loads of different markings here. The box is very flimsy, very rubbish. Um, as we look into the top of the box, you have... Um, just the name of the character and apparently it says they're master stars piece and it is not a master stars piece at all it's fake on this box there is no um off authentication at all on this um you have a little bit of information here just stating it's from Ban presto apparently 2011 made in china um so yeah and it's just a load of rubbish here and another bad imagery transfer picture here so yeah that's the box sorted out now let's just show you guys the actual disgusting well it actually isn't that bad but i'll show you the bad points about it so as i was looking at this actual figure i was thinking to myself hmm what actually company made this? What year did it come out? Blah blah blah. So I tried to look on the actual figure and there's actually no actual no company name, no year on the base or anything whatsoever. And um, here's another thing that sort of annoyed me as well. Um, when I actually got this out of packaging, uh, the paintwork, you know, at a distance you could get away with it, you know, you could sort of go, oh yeah, it looks really cool, blah blah blah, it looks really nice, yeah, it looks really cool. Then you look at the detail properly, and you see the shoddy work on the shoulder, for example, here, where the like paintwork is really bad. Then you go to the actual. Now you probably can't see it as as well, but you look at it properly, especially on the front. You have slightly discolored like colours of the character for some reason here. And it's all around his back, his arms. It's just a discoloration, and it's really off-putting. Which I know I didn't see it uh, before. Um, the face itself doesn't really look bad, to be honest with you. If you just look carefully, it doesn't actually look bad at all. And there is some good points about this, but considering this is bootleg, I couldn't give a crap what it is. So we look on the back here. We've got a scuff mark here, which is a bad manufacturer uh, mistake. And the most Massive problem with this. Right. So when you get it out of the box, you think, okay, it's just going to be like standing up like this. So I've got news for you guys. That's right. The damn foot does not actually stay in there at all. So when you buy a bootleg uh, products, You'll get things like this happen, where parts of the of the figurine or parts of the accessories or even whatever does not actually fit, and therefore makes it totally irrelevant and pointless. So, as I try to get it off, 
another thing about these, these are cheap uh, manufactured products. Therefore, when you try and get characters on and off the stands, they snap. So now his foot does not stand on this damn platform. And it is just point completely useless. So when I try to put the character in, it goes in, but then now I can't really sort of, it doesn't really look great. It just does that. It's just really pointless. So please, I advise everyone, any anime collector, DVDs, figurines, anything, just stay away from this garbage because this is just people like this just steal your money give companies like ban presto master stars and whoever you buy your stock from any good small company all them other places a bad name and you just get left with this shoddy crap this bullshit of a piece of garbage and i think i paid not much for it it was actually a cheap thing which sort of also was another warning that i didn't think of so yeah, I'm not really happy with this, obviously, no one would be for a cheap product. And I advise you guys to stay away from these sort of products. I mean, if you're a fan of bootleg, that's fine, you buy these sort of products. If you haven't got much money, then I can understand that. You know, not a lot of people have money these days unless you've got a really expensive job. But yeah, I would definitely like collect them a lot like myself, very passionate collector. Uh, I only want the best, I only want the official versions of everything i don't want no fake versions i have no time for fake stuff and when people like me sometimes get tricked and didn't know very well at the time and then obviously find out that one of your pieces that you liked a lot was bootleg you really get let down you have you know you feel like you've been conned which i have so yeah um i advise all you guys to stay away from these sort of products just be aware of you know just look for sort of like hologram stickers on these official markings like even if it says on the back here van presto 2011 you know it it just you know it just it's just full of crap they're full of crap they're just copywriting which is which is wrong so that's about it for my review guys um unfortunately this didn't end on a very well high note and i do apologize for you know delivering you such garbage here i'll do a re i'll do a real proper review of it soon of a decent official product but yeah um i'll see you guys soon for our review and uh, take care i hope i shared some uh, light on the subject of more bootlegs so yeah be more careful in the future guys and uh yeah game on